Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make a localized mask and then upload it to Chimera. But this also works for Reliant as well. So the first thing we're going to do is identify the subunit that we're interested in. And this is a protein called MSP15. We have a paper out on it and I'll have the link uh, to the side if you're interested in looking at that. And I'm basically going to explain how I made the localized masks for this project. So looking at this, this is a dimer of trimers and it has D6, I mean D3 symmetry. Um, so there are six subunits. Um, and what I want to do is select one of these subunits, which I'm outlining here with my mouse. And I want to run uh, symmetry expansion and particle subtraction as well and really just focus on one subunit. So how am I going to make a localized mask? Well my favorite way to do it is with this tool called Segra and to open Segra we're going to go to our volume viewer and tools and then segment map and you're going to be greeted with a map a menu that looks like this and you have uh, the default settings here and if you want to change any of those settings you can come here to options and then you have a way of making a finer or coarser uh, segmentation by changing the number of regions that you can segment so if i wanted to have a coarser uh, segmentation i could go down to something like 100 or finer i could increase the number generally you don't need to change it though so the first thing I'm going to do is go to segment and it takes a few seconds to run. You'll see a loading uh, bar down here and then finally you get a multicolored segmented map. And again I want to select a subunit that looks like this, you know, this edge here. And I need to go back to my Segger window. But one of the things I can do is if the segmentation is too fine, I can continue to group until I'm happy with the result. I don't know why that keeps disappearing, but um, and then here I'm pretty satisfied. So I can select each one of these individual regions to make up uh, the area of the map that I'm I'm looking for and to do that I'm going to hold control shift and then click to outline each one that I'm interested in and I think that about does it and just to check I can come to the segment map window and group those so that they're all one color and when I'm happy with the subunit that I've selected I can move on and I think I am I think that's good so now to extract that region I will come to regions and then I can say extract densities another thing that I can do is invert my selection and this is useful if you want to run particle subtraction so I'm going I, I can invert my selection and group that as well Right, and then that makes the entire the five other subunits of this map uh, selected as well, and I can use that later on for particle subtraction. So now we're going to uh, extract the region that we're interested in, and we'll do both of these individually. Um, you know, I'll only do one for the sake of time, but I'll come here to extract densities, and I want to keep it on the same. Uh, coordinate system that I, I had before. The default setting in Chimera is to create a, uh, a new box which you don't want if you're going to run this back through Chimera or CryoSpark. So we will use the same map and we'll extract that and in the volume viewer window we'll get a new entry that represents in this case, our five subunits, but also if we extracted 
the uh, original selection of just the one subunit, it would represent that. So um, what I want to remember is this uh, contouring level. So for our map here, we're at 1.27. And I want to write that number down, come back to it, because you'll need it to make a mask later on. And now to save this, I can just come to and select the, the five subunit, subunit mask and go File, Save Map As, and then save it to wherever on the, the wherever on your desktop you, you're happy with. So for the sake of time, I've already uploaded and imported these using the import 3D volumes tool in Chimera. And I have our individual uh, one subunit and our five subunit uh, volumes. And to make a mask, what we're going to do is come and use our volume tools under utilities. And we'll do this for both jobs. So we will give our imported volume as our input volume. And we don't want to resample our box size. And this is an important step here. So you have the type of input volume, we're giving it a density map, but the type of output volume we want will be a mask, okay? And then this is the threshold. And that is the same as the contouring level from before. So we're going to use 1.27. You can also invert your mask to select everything outside of the mask, but you rarely want that. And then um, for my purpose, I'm doing localized refinement and you often want a dilation radius to uh, fit any variations outside of your map you might encounter. So I'm going to use a dilation radius of five with a soft padding width of three. And what that does is increase the size of your mask in every direction by uh, five angstroms and then a soft mask outside of the, the, the hard mask of three angstroms. So we will cue that. It only takes a few seconds to run. And then what we will do is verify that our mask is good and centered around a subunit in the proper box size by downloading and inspecting our mask. And you always want to inspect your mask. And then we'll do the same thing for our five subunit run and it'll take just a little bit but in the meantime I'll close out some of my extra windows so we can see everything that's going on. And my internet is a bit slow so it's going to take just a little bit longer. Okay, and there you have it. So there's our mask around our subunit and we would get the same result if we did the five subunit mask.